So the game trailer, the game ago game trailer was so poorly received that the publisher took back the whole announcement. Okay, and also there were people that uh, that Twitter was moving to move, move this game off of Steam and every other platform, but nope, the game ago game has been officially been removed. For some respect to both serious criticism and jokes, as well as some genuine curiosity. Yesterday, the publisher Rails Interactive announced a new FMV trailer called Game Ago that will put you in the role of moderator, up and coming streamer Abby Kick99. Your moderator comments in a stream rewarding good behavior and banned tools. The world that could increase subscriber numbers and earn likes to keep Abby Kick99 in a good mood and a career on track. But it's not any old moderating job. He has returned to Steven after a friend, Becky, disappeared in under real serious circumstances. So long as keeping the drugs in wine, it also falls you to gather at these choices to uncover the fights he faces by an anonymous predator that hides in the stream's tats. While it's not a terrible player, it's really, the trailer a comic card by announcement that was uncomfortably creepy. Even for we have a new brand model later, Abby Cake 99 is soon looking to make some pretty fundamental choices in his life. She will answer the phone, check on a friend who might be in trouble, her initial way acts might be as like a night trap or fit if it was expectation gave from the early 90s. That was a lot like night trap. It will probably be more creative, inducing than frightening. Others took the rest terrible view of the game. A lot, a number of people on Twitter said they appear to be ridiculing female streamers or worse, trading in the real abuse, some of that women face on the internet are subject to. Even though there are some people on the internet who basically are protected by these platforms. Okay, I'm not going to name the names. But yeah, they basically have full control over the platforms. There's like two people. They're both women. Have basically control over Twitch, a gaming platform. Okay, so, yep. Yeah, I mean, and of course, there's a lot of, you know, smaller streamers that do have to deal with sexual misconduct. But the two big ones that control these, that basically control the entire platform. Yeah. Okay, views in game, we were in stream and beyond other things, but Twitch take action against multiple real life streamers a few weeks ago. We was interactive and this week attempted to defend the games. It was made very the easy issue of toxic environment. After it can be uh I'd run after the anonymity of a username. Gear Girl was coded by Alexander Burton to read access who improvised the entire script. The research in the streaming content for Game of Go took four years and the dev team M FMV Future interviewed dozens of female streamers, most of whom have experienced abuse online. But of course, of course, not all the reactions to it yet. Basically, some said it was a TD world bug, but it's a fast effect that could be a lot of fun. But yep, <laughs> there would be out about by September, but at this point, I would say that's all up in the air. I'll be surprised if it's cancelled out or what. Um, it's obviously almost fixed, but at the very least, it will do. I think it will do full do over the PR campaign is probably in the work. I reached out to it was interactive, and yep, they didn't. Really, they that the guy who made this article reached out to it was interactive, and there was no information. So yep, the game that everybody, actually nobody, been waiting for has been pulled. The game that will beat Ocarina of Time, and it will be I Am Bread as the greatest game, or no one could be coming out because the trailer has been removed. And yep. This game is no longer in existence. And yep, that's basically it. Goodbye.